Be Wealthy and Smart, episode 487. into a world of wealth and financial freedom without budgets, boredom, or bosses on Be Wealthy and Smart. And now, here's your host, Linda P. Jones. Welcome to Be Wealthy and Smart. I'm Linda P. Jones, America's Wealth Mentor, empowering women and men worldwide to financial freedom. On today's show, we're going to do something a little different. We are going to talk about Black Friday shopping tips, and I've got some great things to share with you. But we're going to try something new because this is actual audio from my new Wealth Heiress TV channel on YouTube. So I'm trying it out to see how it works over here, and also to let you know that Wealth Heiress TV exists, and it's not just for women, it's for men too. So if you haven't checked out Wealth Heiress TV yet, check it out on YouTube. And for once, you can see me talk at the same time you're looking at me. Here we go. Welcome back to Wealth Heiress TV. I'm your host, Linda P. Jones. And today I'm going to give you some Black Friday shopping tips. And by the way, happy Thanksgiving. So my first tip for you is try to do as much of your shopping online as you can. That way you can avoid crowds, you can save time in traffic, you can save gas money driving around town as well. Let your fingers do the buying on your computer and try to do the shopping ahead of time online. Oftentimes there's free shipping deals, there's special sales that are online, and stores often want to help you save money by offering specials online. So sometimes their best discounts are actually found online. So make sure that you do your online shopping. The second thing is while you're doing that online shopping, use a website called Retail Me Not, R-E-T-A-I-L-M-E-N-O-T.com, RetailMeNot.com. What they have are coupon codes, and they have all kinds of savings codes for sales or free shipping or special offers that will save you money. All you do is go and search for the store that you want to buy from, and for example, if that was Macy's, go look up Macy's on RetailMeNot.com, and then Macy's might have some special sales or offers that would allow you extra savings. And then you take those coupon codes from RetailMeNot.com, drop them in the promo code box when you're checking out online and you can save money. Third idea is don't just shop to get a good deal. Sometimes we find deals that are so inexpensive, we think, oh, this is such a great deal. But the reality is it's not a great deal if you don't really need or want the item. And that's how we end up with those tags on our clothing years down the road and we've never worn something. So make sure that you need or want the item that you want. And you're not just buying it because buying five is such a great deal. The next idea is to be aware that shopping gives you chemicals in your brain like dopamine that are very addictive and it gives you a shopping high. So that's why when you're out spending money, sometimes you get very excited and it's easier to spend more and more money because it gives you that really great feeling. But that's dopamine in your brain and that only lasts for about three days. And so if you're addicted to shopping, about every three days you're gonna have to go out and get a new high or spend some more money. So just be aware that there is dopamine in your brain that's kicking in that is making you enjoy shopping and making you feel really great while you're shopping, but be careful because that isn't a reason to shop or spend money and it can lead to a lot of overspending and debt. And speaking of debt, if you're in debt, make sure that you use cash or your ATM card and don't charge up your credit cards anymore. If you already have credit card balances, you don't want to expand those during the shopping year. So make sure that you are on an all cash basis or you are using your debit card and that way it will prevent you from adding more debt to your already existing debt. And finally, 
If you don't get everything that you want on Black Friday, remember there's Cyber Monday and a lot of companies will continue their sales through Monday and you are able to get some bargains and continue to get some great deals on Cyber Monday. So take a look online and see what is being offered on Monday and oftentimes those sales are continuing on. So good luck with your shopping. Make sure to buy the things that you really want and need. I know sometimes we get really excited trying to provide a great Christmas for the kids and we think quantity is important, but it's really not. And if you do want to add quantity, if that's important to have a big pile of presents under your tree, then go to a dollar store and stock up on really inexpensive items because you know what? Literally 15 minutes after the kids have opened the presents, they can't even tell you what they opened. They don't even remember. So if you just want some things for them to open, then get them at the dollar store where you're not spending a fortune. But really don't worry about the quantity. Really focus on the quality of having a great experience, creating a holiday that the family will remember and love. And it's really not about the gifts when it comes right down to it. It's really about the family, our blessings, our gratitude, and that's what we really want to express during the holidays, isn't it? So anyway, good luck with your Black Friday shopping. I hope you find some great bargains, and I hope I've helped you save a little bit of money. Well, there you go. That was our first episode of Wealth Heiress TV that aired on Be Wealthy and Smart. I hope you liked it. And don't forget, we still have our holiday sizzle contest going where you can win Wealthy Mindset Blueprint audios regularly, $197. I'm giving those away. I'm giving away copies of my book and I'll personalize it for you however you like, whether that's for you or for a gift. And three half hour wealth mentoring sessions with me valued at $500. That's 25 prizes that you can win. And that's really easy to do. All you have to do is leave a podcast review that gets your name in the hat two times. If you leave a book review for me and it's on Amazon and you bought the book somewhere else, it'll show up as non-verified, but it's still super valuable. And that's worth three times your name in the hat. If you buy the book at Amazon, it'll show up as a verified book review when you write your review, and I'll put your name in the hat five times. But either way, whether it's verified or non-verified, if you do that with a podcast review, you'll get your name in the hat 10 times. And I've already started putting people's names in the hat, so thank you so much for everyone who's already left reviews. That's awesome. Also, the book is selling out on Amazon, so if you wanna have it for the holidays, you need to order right away. And I will announce winners on January 1st. That's all for today. Until next time, live the good life and be wealthy and smart. Thank you for listening to Be Wealthy and Smart with Linda P. Jones. Share the wealth and tell your family and friends about the show. Check out our website, blog, and social media for more riches at www.bewealthyandsmart.com.